Hey awesome people, this is Nikhil from Alpha Tech and today I'll be showing you one simple technique which allows you to store unlimited images in Google Photos that you at original quality. So yep, here's a little demonstration. So yep, this is just a temporary account and I'll be showing you what exactly I have done. So this is a quite a high resolution image. It uh, it's around like 20 MBs. As you can see, it's easily about 4K. And yep, that's the thing. It's backed up original quality, and this item doesn't take up space in your account storage. So yep, if uh, you still didn't get it, what I'm exactly doing is I'm enjoying unlimited benefits of uh, Google Pixel. So just to get uh, give you a better picture, this Pixel can pack up unlimited photos and videos at no charge. So yep, definitely Google Photos app is thinking that this is the Pixel device, which Obviously, it isn't. It's just a cheap mouse simulator, and I will be showing you how you can achieve the same and reap the benefits of some generous offer from Google that later they realize that's too much to give. But again, it's since it's their word. As long as testing is uh, running up, we can store unlimited photos and videos, and we don't have to spend a single penny. So, all right, just get straight to it. And I will show you how to set up uh, this exact setup. And uh, okay, so basically, basically we begin with uh, this first. I will uh, first. I want to install Knox. I will be providing you the link as well. So once you are uh, done with Knox, let's add a uh, new emulator. And we are definitely going with Android nine because the packages and the dependencies that are provided. Uh, are much more compatible uh, much more compatible with android 9 so yep it will take a while and before we uh, start this i just want to check few stuff first of all let's get rid of this language anyways uh, i don't think uh, languages yeah it's still uh, okay anyways uh, the interface would be uh, the internal interface would be in english uh, till then you can just simply guess where i'm uh, heading with the uh, if that's phone and this is basically root i'm enabling root and uh, okay 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 sounds good fine fine okay let's start it up so this is a first boot up i suppose it will take a while so meanwhile i will uh, explain you the procedure so once this phone uh, boots i will be I'm dropping few packages that is my magis if magis is required and so is the Elspose framework and then i will be adding pixelify so these three together works uh parallelly to pull google photos to making it think that it is running it inside a pixel device so yeah okay uh, it's up uh once it is fully function i will uh, i think it's yeah. Okay, it's working. Let's drop magisk. So, uh, Nox supports uh, drag and drop. The moment I drop, it will automatically install it. I don't really have to do anything else. So, yep, see, it's installing magisk. Once magisk system, I will be putting else post as well. Q, uh, definitely I will have, have a good time with this. Okay, unknown. Um, yep, just give it a second yep none and our final application that is pixelify i don't think i will be able to install it right now uh, uh wait for a few seconds yep okay i won't be able to install it right now but don't worry we will get through it so okay let's fire up magisk and see what we have put here oh yeah definitely provided all the permission it requires allow so right now i do not have magisk installed you see so i only have the app so we will install it in a moment uh, let's just see definitely next type install to system partition and let's go okay i think yeah let's reboot now so just to clear the cut clutter, the things that I've used, I will be deleting it and including this not setup so that you guys don't get uh, confused later on. Okay, that's gone. So yep, only uh, one primary application to go. 
this setup uh, might be a bit using for those who don't really uh, wrestle around with the emulator and stuff. But uh, I assure you, once you, it's a one-time setup, and once you go through it, it's a piece of cake. Okay, so once we have booted uh, again, uh, the thing that I have to do is, yeah, disable root for now because uh, let me show you what happens. If I fire matches now, it will throw a warning. Come on, come on, matches. Yep, yes, uh, just to uh, ignore this warning, uh, just to uh, handle this warning, I'm going to disable the uh, default root. And yep, let's restart. Okay, meanwhile, while it uh, starts, so this trick allowed me to store a ton, a ton of uh, storage in my Google account because we all get around 15 gigs of, gigs of storage and come on, the, uh, the, the day Google uh, stopped that unlimited photo, uh, photo upload, I knew it was a long time coming because initially they get everyone addicted with the uh, unlimited storage and then they pulled it back. And making it an only exclusive for the initial uh, series of pixel, so that's what we are trying to get around. I, it's definitely a worthy. Uh, it's worth everyone's time. So, okay, we do not have. Uh, so I guess let's enable it. Uh, I guess yep. There you are. I will be rebooting you later. And now let's flash. Elspose. So just uh, FII. I have installed Elspose, but it is just the application. It is not the exact thing. Uh, we have to flash this file to get this thing uh, inside the uh, room. So I will be installing it from storage. And yeah, so what we are going to do, I'm going to drop it. Uh, not exactly. I'm going to uh, put it into a PC folder. Uh, from there, I will be able to grab it. Let's put in the downloads. Okay, that should be it. Uh, downloads. Yep, there you are. Flashed and reboot. So the moment it reboots, it's uh, almost done. Uh, uh, this uh, reboot might take a while. So for that, I'm pausing the video. Oh, no, it's back. Awesome. So now if we, we will see we have else post working. Oh, never show. Thank you. See, it's active. Now let's drop our Pixelify. I hope it might. Uh, I hope it should get installed right now. Yeah, that's good. It's, uh, it, it got installed. So right now it's no use to uh, run Pixelify because we need to set up our Google Play Store. So yeah. So first thing first, do not uh, click on signing because you won't be able to sign up. The thing is, it uh, this is a old version of Play Store and we need to update it. So it uh, sometimes it takes time, like uh, sometimes it uh, matter of few minutes and sometimes it might take like 10 to 15 minutes. So it uh, basically depends on your luck and your network. So what I generally do is simply I leave my system for a while and then come back to say hooray it's done. So yep, I will see you in a while. Uh, okay, then it's done. So it actually got stuck. It took me 30 minutes to get back to my old uh, setup and extract the APK, put it here, and then flash it, uh, basically install it. So now you have one more thing that is the Play Store APK. So that once uh, you reach this step, simply put it and drop it. So, you don't, you, so that you don't have to wait as long as I did. So let's get back to it. Now, once the latest APK is, uh, latest Play Store is installed, we can simply proceed to our uh, log sign up or logging in. Uh, I will get back to you once I have logged in. So, mm, yep, definitely. Okay. Yeah, definitely. It's just uh, my temporary account, so I don't really care about terms and condition much. But once you are doing it, uh, it will be much better if you pay a bit of attention. Okay. What do we have here? Hmm. Hmm. 
let me sort my network okay so once uh, we are done with logging in let's just get back to our play store and install our beloved app photos mm, yep there you are So once the portal system, we will back to our packages that is the three musketeers and ensure that uh, each of them are enabled and configured properly. And once it is done, it's all a simple sale to perform. Okay, so then I will get back to you once the download is complete. Okay, so our portal is installed, but before we uh, open it up, let's just check for all of the whether all of the settings have been configured properly. Uh, I just what is okay, it's enabled. Great, and suppose it should have a recognized Pixelify. Okay, yep, it has. Let's just enable it. Great. And oh, it is uh, it definitely has the reboot, and I will do it. Fine. So meanwhile, while it's rebooting, I just uh, uh, want to clarify that all of the procedures I think that I've uh, mentioned uh, are pretty straightforward. Yeah, it it might take a while for you to get it properly, but uh, it's just a virtual machine, so yep, you get unlimited trials. And uh, yep, uh, if you have any doubt. Uh, it out you can definitely try to reach it reach out to me in the comment section but uh, i will mostly reply only when i find your comment uh, whether your, if your issue is genuine because i often see people are asking for the same thing that i've explained in the video and that uh, is really quite uh, not productive so please uh, make sure otherwise i'm always there to help you uh, okay now we will head back to pixel Right, uh, we will be switching to Pixel XL. Yeah, that's a very important step because Pixel 5 uh, in Pixel 5, people rolled out that uh, storage saver, unlimited storage uh, saver option. And in the Pixel XL, that was the one of the initial series, uh, uh, actually came with the unlimited storage with uh, the unlimited storage on back uh, on uh, original quality. So, yep, okay, 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 post shot Google photos. Yep, definitely grant it. And let's head to Google Photos. Yep, definitely. Thank you. Okay, let's see whether we have. Okay, yep, yeah, this pixel can back up unlimited photos and videos at no charge. But uh, I will still uh, show you a demonstration. Let's remove the spec. Whatever library trash. Oh, no thanks. Uh, trash. Okay. So now, uh, I what I uh, do, and this is what uh, you should be doing as well. Uh, once, uh, once you have decided that okay, these are the picks of uh, my week or my month that I want to back up. You plug your phone say for example this is the pick i will grab it i will head to this or the pc folder and uh, okay it's already in the download but still let me add it again okay it's here now so then i will head back to library and and, and uh, there should be an option to add folders see when i can get it Okay. 
Okay. So one more thing, uh, it takes a while to pick up uh, any changes that you have done in the storage. So what I recommend is you wait for three to three four minutes, and if the image is still uh, isn't being shown, then I wait. Uh, there's one more thing we can do. Let's just head back to the file folder and allow. I have to place it on the downloads, right? So I will grab it from here. And put in the CIM. Okay, so the system is still uh, for now. Let's close everything and check whether the photo is being, uh, being detected. Okay, not yet, it's not in the galleries. And I can expect the same for Google Photos as well. But it's not picking it right now, but uh, sooner or later it will pick. Uh, okay, not yet. So if it's still not picking it up, you can simply just make a restart. And I will get back to you when my emulator is restarted. So my device just got restarted and let's check. Okay, yep. So it got detected and it got uploaded as well. Awesome. So as you guys can see, back to our shutter scope. That is so, and uh, just for reference, yep, this image is 21 mega, 21 MB. But uh, on the drive on my device, it's not uh, taking any storage, which is main objective of this video. So, yep, that's it, guys. You can see that was all. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you are able to follow follow through. So, uh, yep, please uh, like and subscribe because these kind of content requires a bit of effort and a good amount of research to uh, make sure that you get a very smooth and stable version of this technique. And yep, I hope you save uh, a lot of money and have a lot of fun enjoying your old memories and backing up storage, uh, backing up images at uh, unlimited storage. Okay, that will be all. Thank you, guys.